Good day Rebels, I hope you're all having a great day. Today I wanted to make another video on this series, you know, what if Anakin was found by Palpatine before the Phantom Menace. If you guys are enjoying this, I hope you all give it a thumbs up and a like. I would like for you guys to jot down your ideas of what, you know, Palpatine should do next. So stay tuned and watch this whole video to find out what's going on and what you think he should do next. Let's jump in. How Palpatine was going to get his memory back, he didn't know. But he had to try. There was a couple ways that he could try to regain his memory. He could go down to the Sith Temple hiding under the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. However, with the Senate and the Jedi Council still freaking out, he thought this option to be too risky. The only other option was to visit Mother Talzin. After all, she would have the ability to look into his head and uncover what Plagueis hid from Palpatine. Palpatine didn't like this option. He didn't trust Talzin to leave his mind alone and to not mess with his head. However, if he was to ever know what his master had planned, this was the safest option and the safest risk. This is the one risk that he was willing to make to find out the truth about Shmi and what his master had been planning. Now was the perfect time to go to Dathomir with his plan underway and with Anakin off on Naboo with Qui-Gon. No one would know he was gone. It wouldn't be long now till Maul intercepted the Jedi on Naboo and kills Qui-Gon. Palpatine knew that for his plan to have the greatest chance of success, Anakin would need to be trained by Obi-Wan. For this part of the plan, Palpatine had no real need to be around. This is why now is the perfect time for him to discover his master's plan. He made the decision that he would leave at dusk for Dathomir. Palpatine set off for Mustafar shortly around dusk. He was hoping that his trip would be short. He knew that the longer he spent on Mustafar, the greater it would put his plan in danger. He couldn't risk putting his life in the hands of Mother Talzin for longer than he had to. He knew that Plagueis and Mother Talzin were close, and with her digging around in his head, he just can't risk giving her enough time to find out the real reason as to why he actually died. As soon as Palpatine landed on Dathomir, he knew that something was wrong. Still, he needed to find out what was in his blocked memories and what his master had been planning. Normally, Dathomir was dark, hot, and you could hear something lurking in the bushes just watching you. However, this time it was cold, dark, and sinister. It was so quiet that Palpatine could hear his own heart beating. With every passing second, Palpatine felt more uneasy, but just as he couldn't take it anymore, he finally reached Mother Talzin's lair. Palpatine had heard Plagueis talk about Talzin. He talked about her tenacity and how she got to be where she's at by always doing what she wanted. Palpatine had been with Plagueis to visit Talzin before, but he never got the chance to enter in into her domain. Having the chance to enter and being alone was very unnerving for him. Palpatine made his way inside to find Talzin so that they could get started. Just as he reached the inner cavern, he was greeted by Talzin. Just as he was about to introduce himself, she quickly dismissed him by saying that she knows who he is and why he was there. We must get started then, for I fear that I will lose these memories if we don't act, mentioned Palpatine. Talzin motioned for him to lie down on the table as she summoned her aides to assist her. Palpatine lied down and was suddenly enshrouded in a green vapor. Before Palpatine knew it, he was just about on the verge of going unconscious. Suddenly, Palpatine woke up, or at least he thought he was awake. He couldn't be though, because he was staring at someone that looked just like him. This had to be some dream realm, Palpatine thought to himself. You are correct, and I will be your guide. I am your inner self, the second Palpatine said back. I don't know what I'm looking for or where I need to look to find it. I do know where to look and exactly what it is you seek. But be warned, Mother Talzin knows what happened to Plagueis and knows what you're looking for as well. She will try and get her revenge on you. She can only attack you at your most vulnerable. When is that? You are still protected partially even in this state. However, when you find what you're seeking, you will be at the most vulnerable and that's when she will strike. What must I do? That is the question that you must answer before you start this journey. For there are two paths laid before you. One will lead you to the knowledge you seek, and the other will give you the power to rule the way you desire. However, heed this warning. One of these paths will cause you to lose what you hold dear. And what is that? Your life. A huge choice lie ahead for Palpatine, and it's one that he just can't take lightly. Now is the time for him to choose, and if you want to know exactly what decision he makes, stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you all have a great day. 
and may the force be with you always.